emphasize one very, very fundamental truth. And it is, it's simple, no? It says, the truth shall set you free. The moment we do not know the truth, the moment what we believe is falsehood, the moment we believe in what is false, then we are lost. So we are not free. So freedom and truth comes come hand in hand. One without the other doesn't work. So in other words, up to now I find the Philippines and a good number of us Filipinos precisely because of poverty. What we need more is what to eat, where to where to sleep, what to wear. And it will and it's not a question of what is the truth, what is this, what is that. That's why I only want to understand that that uh, the truth sometimes does not is so hard to to have precisely because of our poverty situation. We are more uh, living like in the animal kingdom where what is first is to eat and to drink and to sleep. That is the animal kingdom. Uh, the, rational, the rational kingdom is what to think, what to do, what to say, what not to say, things like that. It's a little, I, I do not think it is, uh, it is complicated because when they say the truth shall set you free, I think it is, it is not very profound, no? Because sparsity will set you on chains. If you live on falsehood, believe in falsehood, depend on falsehood, then your, your hands are chained, you are not free. Precisely because you do not know what is right or wrong, you do not know which is what. So, again I repeat, the truth will set you free as far as the church is concerned. It's a very fundamental doctrine. Now, to be more, uh, to go to the, to go to the, to the lower, uh, how do you call that, to the more practical reality. I am so happy that God is God and God is good and God is wise and God is great. Because you know, even God himself only gave ten, ten commandments to rule the world, ten. Would you like me to tell me how many laws we have in the country? How many laws? I don't know. <laughs> I cannot count. God bless. Pero God only gave ten, and the moment these ten commandments are really lived by, especially by church people, church people, from the uh, from the uh, Pope to the uh, lay, uh, simple lady, ten lang ito, the moment we leave these ten commandments, whether we like it or not, we will be fine. We do not need a stack of clothes one after another and then nobody knows which is what. And yet we forget this ten. Do not kill, do not steal. It's not, it's not too hard to understand. Uh, and not only that, but God, uh, it, seems to, it seems to Christ that ten is too many. So Christ said there are only two, love God and love your neighbor. Correct? Yes. Oh, and that's, that's it. The moment there is trouble in the world, the moment you have nuclear power being uh, fired here and there, the moment you have associations that are fighting one another and then you have the North America, you have China, you have Russia, you have Jesus and uh, Frankly, that is where the trouble starts. And uh, uh, I'm sorry that man has deteriorated this much. No? But up to now, especially North Korea, is very infamous for its nuclear power, nuclear testing, and 
his son. But that is the school. Love God, love your neighbor. The moment you have measles, the moment you have terrorism, the moment you have NPA, ICs, what maute, et, 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 then you have done. Then you do not love your baby. That's why you are in trouble. I am not trying to be simplistic. I'm just, just, just saying the plain reality, which is not so profound to understand and to accept or otherwise.